What's up, everybody? Today I want to talk about some 2 3 zone and how the 2 3 is actually neutralizing a lot of this three point shooting that we see in, in the game today. This is the 2003 National Championship. Take a look at Syracuse's zone, how they actually have a back line. There are three defenders down around the block area. There are only two defenders at the free throw line extended area. So what that leaves us with is basically two defensive players for three offensive players up high and three defensive players for only two offensive players down low. You know, as we know, if we take a look here, there's the two uh, offensive players around the goal. Uh, now there's not a lot of post playing basketball in man to man offense. Everybody is wanting to shoot so many threes that the zone ironically used to be played to, you know, make people shoot from the outside. Now teams are using the zone very effectively to take away the three point shot. Okay, right here we see uh, the, the zone. Look how compact that bottom line of the zone is, that 2-3. The back line of that zone is very compact. Now, they do end up giving up a three-point shot right here to Kurt Heinrich. Okay, now fast forward. This is Duke and Syracuse this weekend. Look at the zone, how it's up around. We actually have four defenders around the free throw line extended area now. Complete different look to this zone because of the way teams overuse the three-point shot now. And so take a look at this zone. There are no offensive players around the goal. So the zone has adjusted and evolved over time to push up and take away these three-point shots. Okay, so if we let it roll here, uh, Duke does get some players around the goal. And we all don't have a Marvin Bagley to lob it to. But I, I just think right now, if you go inside, there's a lot of weak areas around the back line of that zone. Okay, go back to 2003 again and take a look at how different this zone looks compared to what we just saw. There are two block defenders still playing the back line of the zone, not pushing up to guard the wings because there's a post player around the goal. So they kind of have to react. Not only is there a post player, but there are two offensive players below the foul line extended. So that zone has to react a certain way. Uh, just as offense has changed, the defense has changed with it. So if we watch the ball move, watch this block defender come up and then drop. Okay, come up and then drop. And I'm going to show you one more time. That's a key slide in this zone is he's got to help that guard and then drop back down. That's a key slide in any zone. So take a look at this. This is uh, 2018. He comes up and he drops. He comes up and he drops. Look at the zone, how much higher up on the floor this zone is. Okay. Uh, and again, he doesn't get there in time, but the zone has actually started to neutralize some of this three-point shooting. Okay, if we take a look again, look at how high up on the floor this zone is compared to what we just saw from 2003. So, I mean, I know that's 15 years ago, but it's amazing to look at how much different defense looks. I think the back line of the zone is a place you can hurt it. Those short corner to short corner areas, really, really susceptible to hurt a zone. The free throw line area, uh, I think, is another place on the floor, especially right below the free throw line because the guards, it's harder for those guards to drop that far and help. That's another soft spot of the zone. And then I think if your wings can keep it in their mind, we may need you to take a step up or a step down to create some availability for a pass. That's another soft spot of the zone. And then finally, look how high up on the floor the point man is. He's really pushed up high because the way the zone plays now. So I would not put a player in that spot who I wanted to score. I would put somebody up there and have them kind of be a turnstile, keeping that ball moving. And of course, they do lob it over the top. We all don't have a 6'10 guy to throw it to, but that is a really soft spot of his zone. Now here, watch the ball below the free throw line and slide that step below the foul line because that's a good soft spot area of the zone. And so they, they knock the shot down. Uh, defense has really changed. Offense has really changed. And I just think it's amazing that we're seeing a lot of 2-3 zone actually played to stop the three-pointer instead of give up threes.